Ni hao, wo shi wo de feng yo. I'm so happy to greet you, and my friend also wants to greet you. Wo de go. I'm really excited to talk to you a little bit about my amazing experience in Fujian. In that trip, made so many wonderful friends, especially a young boy uh, who really became my zhi yin. Kala is a renowned American opera singer, having performed the lead role in Carmen in over a hundred opera performances worldwide. In May, Kala, as an opera singer, visited Fujian province in the southern part of China for the first time. She visited a picturesque ancient village known as Yunshui Yao in Nanjing County, Fujian, which she found as beautiful and attractive as her hometown in Michigan, USA. The difference was that her home, located over 10 degrees latitude north, was just emerging from winter in late May, while Yunshui Yao was lush and vibrant. Following the sounds of children playing by a well, she arrived and found that, despite different faces and languages, everyone enjoyed playing together. And see if they might be willing to let me play with them. While playing with the water, Kala met Huang Yicheng, who was then a fourth grade student in elementary school. Huang Yicheng communicated with Kala in English and invited her to visit the house. I think he and his family showed me so much kindness and welcoming me to their home very well, almost like we had been friends a long time. During their conversation, Kala and Huang Yicheng made a promise with each other. <laughs> the lively atmosphere during the day brought joy to color, while the sounds of frogs at night convey the tranquility and harmony of the area. The nighttime scenery in Yunxiao is beautiful, and there are vivid sounds from the nature. It's such a, a moving experience to smell the smell in the mountains and the, the fresh air, but, but also to listen to the noises, the sounds of the animals and the birds. And in particular, the frogs, uh, they really captured my imagination because uh, I also hear them near the forest, near my own home. The familiar croaking of frogs instantly brought color back to her childhood and her memories of playing with frogs in the fields near her hometown. It made me remember just, even though we're very far apart, how much we have in common as human beings in, in sharing these ex The way that they sang with each other, it was like a symphony, you know, and they were really in a harmony with each other. These big lessons that come from nature you know, were, were so present in that moment for me and, and they really filled my heart with a lot of hope uh, for what humanity can learn. Kala gave a small forge to Huang Yicheng, hoping to stay in touch. Just as she was about to leave, Huang Yicheng rushed to the bus she was boarding and gave her a small but meaningful gift. I think it's the beginning of a very long friendship. Uh, but if I may, he not only was my Lao Shi for Chinese, he also really taught me a very moving lesson. I'll never forget that lesson for the rest of my life. Living the Tu Lou, she embarked on a journey to Xiamen, where an old friend awaited her. Zheng Xiaoying, the first female conductor of an opera symphony in New China, aged 94. In February of this year, Professor Zheng Xiaoying participated in the Sino-U.S. Cultural Exchange event online. Conducting a 70-minute speech entirely in English, she shared her musical philosophy and artistic practices with the online audience. At that time, Kala was the host. 
and the two engaged in a brief online conversation, expressing mutual longing and a desire to meet in person soon. Uh,我也跟他讲到我在普及音乐文化方面做了一些什么工作 to improve communication, Zheng Xiaoying also brushed up on her English. Organized. Organized. For people are eager to share the fruit. Yeah,好,也好玩,我也愿意这么玩一玩。on May 30, 2023, in Xiamen, Fujian, the two friends who had connected online finally met. They hosted a Grand Sino US folk music and culture salon. So amazing, and in my heart, I have dreamed of this moment so many times. Thank you very much. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Welcome, welcome to Just after meeting, the two artists exchanged special gifts. It's a small token of appreciation because what you did is much bigger than anything that I could show in a letter or in a present. Uh, but the letter is signed by myself and also by the embassy of China and the United States. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. The letter of appreciation expresses gratitude to Zheng Xiaoying for sharing her rich experience as a prolific conductor, her artistic insight on music and its function in the world, and for invigorating the pursuit of forging connections through culture exchange and diplomacy. The two sung together spontaneously. They sung famous songs from different countries in the same language, which was also their gift to each other. At this moment, music knows no borders, and communication knows no borders. It allows everyone to find resonance and understanding in this diverse world, and upholds the beauty of each civilization, understands the diversity of different civilizations, and the search for harmony in this diversified world. Yen you know, we, we clasped hands and we hugged and she was so warm with me. And I hope maybe someday I will be able to sing with her more because it was just one of the most special moments of my life. Carla's journey in China has brought more than just new acquaintances. In the square of the ancient city of Zhangzhou, Carla was drawn by the sound of musical instruments. Here, she encountered a group of elderly men and women who warmly invited her to sing with them.
Colors American Companions, including world famous percussionist Tom Tisley, transformed into the groom. They experienced the traditional wedding customs, such as throwing embroidered balls in Nanjing Taxia Village, and spontaneously created and performed music with villagers. On June 26, Huang Yicheng received a transocean ethic letter from the United States, written by Kala. I hope that you'll come to visit me someday, Yicheng. I'm thinking of you, and I'll never forget the kindness that you showed me. I have the beautiful gift that you gave me right here with my favorite things, and I really hope to see you very soon again, my friend. Take good care. Zai Chen. 他说了，他是在哪里出生的，还有分享了知音这个词。知音是一个人知道演奏，一个人知道倾听。黄义成 has, Yicheng has long considered color to be his kindred spirit. Hearing that color has been talking about the chorus of frogs in Yunshuiyao, Huang Yicheng wanted to fulfill Aunt Color's dream. 我就在网上搜了做青蛙的视频，并做了一只青蛙送给他。on July 18, Huang Yicheng sent the Transocean Attic letter at the post office. Although the paper folded frog won't croak, it represents the warm regards of a Chinese friend. So, this is a big gift for me, and I thank you, uh, Shishia, from the bottom of my heart. Color's reflections on her journey in China led her to write an article titled For the United States and China, It Starts with Listening, published in the New York Times. In the article, she recalls the details of encountering kindred spirits during her trip to Fujian, China. The article states, as far apart as China and the United States may seem, our futures are deeply intertwined. Americans must try to understand the hopes, dreams, and aspirations of the Chinese people. October 8th, Chinese ambassador to the United States Xie Feng commented, How wonderful is the friendship between U.S. arts envoy color and Fujian boy Huang Yicheng and conductor Zheng Xiaoying. Can't agree more that through music and art, we celebrate our common humanity. We need more pairs of Zhiyin, as color rightly put it. I hope very much to get to go back soon. I have a big hope for our friendship, and I really hope it's the beginning of a very long one.